Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, April 4th, and I thought I'd start out my weekend with a little bit of programming. Join me. Pour yourself a coffee. I've got mine. Um, yesterday, we did Array 3. We did Fix 3, 4. So maybe we'll take a look at something else. Fix 4, 5. Oh, you could look. Oh, it's like the same problem. I'm reading it. Yeah, I don't want to do the same problem. Let's do can balance. Okay, so try can balance. It's codingbat.com slash Java within the array three problem set. Try try can balance before you see my solution. Um, try your own. Maybe you'll like yours better than you like mine. Let's give it a try. Can I make my font a little bigger? That's pretty good. Okay, so given a non-empty array, return true if there's a place to split the array so that the sum of the numbers on one side is equal to the sum of the numbers on the other side. All right, that's a pretty simple explanation. It must be, okay, so like three on this side, three on this side, so I return true. If I try to do that with this array, I can't do it, it looks like, right? No matter where I split it, the sum on one side is different than the sum on the other. So that's why it's false, and then this one's true because this sums to the same as this. All right, that seems pretty easy problem to wrap my head around. I do kind of feel like I've had experience with something like this before. So I kind of know what I want to do already. I know that I'm going to want to calculate a sum from some beginning of index to some ending index. And I want to do that a lot. Like maybe it's going to be from here to here, or maybe it's going to be from here to here, or maybe it's going to be from here to here, or maybe it'll be from here to here, right? I'm going to be calculating a lot of sums. And I think I want a function for that. I remember doing something like this before where a function was really helpful. So I'm going to start by doing that. So if I could, what kind of information am I going to need? If I want a, the sum of some values, I probably should should have the array. I should have some beginning index that I want to sum from and some ending index. And so it'll be like a range, like a, a sum in the range of uh, from begin to end. So if you've never calculated a running sum before, need to declare a variable and then you run a loop and I will the where I'm going to start the loop is wherever the begin parameter is and it'll end here just like like I would put array dot length here I'll put end here and then I'll climb up and I'll just add to the sum variable the sum variable gets incremented by whatever happens to be in the array at position I and then this is where I return the sum right so this should calculate the sum. Let me check if I have any problems from begin to end within the nums array. Cool. I think this is going to work. So I'll be able to use this sum anytime I want to get a sum from, from wherever to wherever. OK, so what I should do then in my can balance is I should probably just kind of rotate my, my splitting point, right? I should just have, maybe I cut the array right here and then see if this equals the right side of the array. Of course, that wouldn't work. But then I'll, I'll start splitting it here and see if this side equals this side. And if that doesn't work, I'll move over again and I'll split it here. Right? So I can just run the sum algorithm on the left and see if it's equal to the sum algorithm on the right. And if it is, I return true. And if I get through the whole array and nothing worked, then I return false. So let's see if we can hash, hash that out real quick. I do need to start a for loop. So I'll just do this. I, th I don't think it's any harm starting at zero. Like I probably don't need to start at zero. And num.length. So I'm just going to go through the whole array and try all of the possible splitting points, I guess, right? Yeah, I'm, I could maybe have some efficiencies here. Like maybe I don't have to begin at zero, but I don't think it's any harm. All right. So basically, if the sums are equal, I'm just going to go like this. If the sums are equal, if the sums are equal, I'll I'll hash out that logic in a second, like what that means for them to be equal. Then I want to return true. And then if I like, I keep checking, I keep like moving this splitting point over and over and over until I find something that where the left is equal to the right, and then I return true. But if I never found it at all, and the for loop ends then that must have mean I couldn't find one, so I returned false here. So what would it mean for the sums to be equal? Well, it would mean 
like I guess I'm going to do the left side sum. So what is the left side sum? Well, first of all, the sum the sum function takes in nums as a parameter. My array, right? It happens to be the same variable name. The beginning of the left side sums is 0 and the end is wherever i is, right? So that's my cutting point is at i, right? So I guess the number at i does not get included in the left side sum. Does that make sense? The number i goes in as the end parameter here. And remember this for loop that calculates the sum, i is exclusive on this end. It never reaches the end here. So i is like the, the cutoff point. That should uh, be on the right side here. If the sum of the left side equals the sum on the right, well, what's the sum on the right? Well, it's the same function. I use nums. And this time I begin at i, and I end at nums.length. All right, so notice I use i here and i here. Be careful here, because remember, this is not included in the sum. Like if you look at the way we programmed it down here, the index uh, i never reaches the ending parameter here, but it does get included as the beginning, right? So hopefully that makes sense. I am kind of going fast here. My coffee must be working really well. <laughs> All right, so I check to see if the sum on the left, which is the sum of the array from zero to i, not including that i, is equal to the sum of the right, which is the same numbers array beginning at i going all the way to the end of the array. And if they do equal each other, I return true. And if they don't, I just try again with a new splitting point. And then move on and on and on. And if I can't find when they're equal, then it must not be possible. I return false. So let's see if this gives me anything good. Let's see if I have any bad code in here. Looks solid. All right, that's can balance. Um, hopefully you came up with something similar. Maybe you didn't come up with this extra function out here. Maybe you did all that logic in here, but I find it nice like this. Um, this worked well for me. Instead of having to load this up twice and calculate the sum two times in here, it just kind of seems uh, wasteful to, to write the same code twice. Um, but yeah, that worked. And I think I'll call it there. I can... Uh, see the sunshine. I might go out for a little walk here and I hope you guys do the same. Um, try to find a way to keep yourselves happy, keep yourselves sane, and I'll talk to you guys in the near future. Happy coding. Bye-bye.